Hello and welcome back to the farm. So, I've had a while to think about this. I was debating whether to sell a tractor and get a higher as well, another ho higher horsepower tractor. Yes, that thing is loud, but we need that horsepower. So, what can we do? As you can see, that gate over there is open. So, my plan is, if we go over to the store, here we are, and if we go around here, we have the palleti pelletizing um, baler kind of, th this thing, the Primos 5000, I'm going to sell it. Um, you know, we did do pellets. But uh, I think, you know, now we just need to concentrate on our fields. We're going to be getting more fields as time progresses. Are we really going to have time to be able to do all this? When we can literally just square bale it. I mean, I think it's literally just going to be easier to sell this. Because we are going to get a lot of money from this. I mean, let's just, let's just have a look. If we repair it for three hundred and nineteen dollars, we are going to get three hundred and fourteen thousand one hundred and eighty eight dollars. That is a lot of money. So we are going to sell that. That has put our account up to three hundred and eighty eight thousand one hundred and forty eight dollars. That is absolutely fantastic. And, in the comment section from the last episode, I did say, should we get the salt spreader, or should we get the plough? So here we go. The comments, do it again. We have the plough. Here it is. This will be able to... Okay. This will be able to go on the front of our massive Ferguson. Just to shunt around some snow, because I'm just not dealing with snow so we, we are going to clear the lot the lard brain fart central did not take long at all for that train to come in did it so let's reset this to the farm let me get up there there we go so there it is we've reset that we paid how much did we pay i can't remember how much that cost <coughs> let's see if we go across the plow cost us $16,000. Seems expensive, yes, but we've got it. So let's jump in. And there it is. To our Massey Ferguson 8140. Let's get some of this snow clear because it is an absolute pain to get around here. It is a bit better now we have got the bigger machinery, but it is still a pain. But what I want to know in the comments section is, what do we do with that money that we have? And I'm going to have to bring up the help menu because I can't remember how you turn this thing. Uh... Oh, there we go. Alright, so there we are. And I've got a fly attacking me. Get lost. Alright, so here we go. Let's clear the yard. Let's get that lowered down. Get all this pushed up the side. Yeah. 
This fly that keeps dive bombing me really does need to go. It's constantly attacking me. There's nothing worse than like hot, humid weather and these flies start coming out. Really, really annoying. There's a bit of a big mound there. Push over that way. There we go. But like I was saying, you'll have to let me know in the comments down below what do we do with that money now? We have three hundred and eighty eight thousand one hundred and forty eight. Obviously. We're going to be needing to save some for seed, fertiliser and the likes and to pay for fuel because uh, we, we definitely need fuel. Come on, let's get it moved. The tractor's really struggling to shift all this. Get it all over here, out the way. All right, let's turn that. So as long as I've got like a, a an, an area I can go through, I don't really mind. The chickens are not going to like these mounds. So that's a clear area there. Let's turn that again. we we'll just get this pushed up here. We don't use this door anyway. So there we go. Clear down here. Easy like this really. There we go. Just nice to be able to deal with this snow. Is uh, is a big problem. There we are. That mound needs to be moved. I think that will be okay for now. That little bit there, that's fine. But a way to get through here, that, that looks absolutely dreadful. But we're not going to be going over there anytime soon, so that is fine. Get through here, through there. Need to make a way round here. We need to get that done and just close that. Alright. Let's crack on and get this done. Alright, there we go. Let's get it down. Just 
and I have to get this snow pushed out of the way. There we are. That is a lot of snow. There we go. Let's put it on there. Come on. Seems to be really struggling. As long as I've got like a cleaner area to drive through, I'm going to be happy. Just keep shimmying around. <coughs> oh dear. Sounds like this poor little tractor's struggling. Something like 175 horsepower or something like that. Definitely struggling to push this snow around. That's that. Get that down. Oh, caught something then. Get this driveway cleared. make it easier for ourselves. I really am happy we've got this plough. This, well, snow plough, should I say, snow shovel, whichever it be deemed as. Just makes things a lot easier. I think that'll do. And the corn is, wow, the corn's growing. Well, that is impressive. I didn't think the corn would grow, but it is. <coughs> really impressive stuff. It's getting capped for a little while. Just a bit of snow to push around. But like I said though, you will have to let me know in the comments down below what do we do with the money that we have. We have 388,000. Do we look at selling a couple of the tractors and buying a bigger tractor? Because we are getting bigger equipment. The biggest tractor we have at the moment is the Case Quad Track. It's a loud beast, but it's our beast. Let's just get it pushed to the side. Let's get this turned. And let's make a way around here. Because we're not going to be able to get these fields sorted until the snow goes. So it's not really going to matter if it, the, the snow is on a bit of a field. See what would be awesome if um where am I going? If uh, your water actually froze 
like your water pipes that you use you had to have like a water heating system that'd be pretty cool not really going to be going down there anytime soon so that's fine as long as I can just make it easy just to get around yeah, it's mainly the animals more than anything Turn the other way. My controller is still being a little bit dodgy, but uh, you have to bear with me on that. Just get that push to the other side. There we go. Let's go down here. We're basically just trying to make it easier for us to get around because last winter I mean that was an absolute nightmare having to deal with that right, let's get that pushed that way We need to go that side. Basically, just a happy plough day, cleaning up the farm day, because we are going to be hitting the start of a new season tomorrow, which is going to be very daunting in the least. Just push that there for now, and make a way of getting over here. So it doesn't really matter too much. I just like like we said, we just want to just want to make it easier for us. Don't want to make it harder on ourselves. We don't have the highest horsepower tractors, you know, in the game. So how's that looking? That's all right. We'll get up to this bridge. But I am going to wait your decision on what we do. Plus, also, we do need to sell. Because we're not going to be needing it. The pellet sell point. So there we go. That's going $201. Next to nothing, really. Don't want to sell my water pipe. That would be bad. But let me know in the comments. What do we do? Do you think we should buy a field? Or a a set of fields if you do let me know what fields let me know the price and the likes because you know i listen to what is said in the comments and i do try to uh, get back to every comment that is made and uh, i just want to thank everybody that is uh, watching the content that's uh, decided to subscribe to me i don't i don't know why you'd want to 
but I, I, I thank you. I can't, I can't say it enough how much it, it means to me that you take the time to hit the whole like button, the subscribe button. Oh, looks like a brand new road already. Fantastic. Like I said though, let me know down in the comments what do we do. We've got 388,000, I know I keep saying it, but as you know, if you do watch this series and any other series, what said in the comments, nine times out of ten happens on the farm. Do we buy more fields? If so, which ones? Do we look at buying some more machinery? Uh, trap? What on earth is that? Is that that manhole cover? Hmm. Don't know. But let me know down in the comments. Do we get different equipment, machinery, or fields? Or do we look at getting both? Or all three? Hmm. I don't know. Let me know though, down in the comments below. So, let me know what you think we should do. I'm actually gonna move some of this snow. There we go. So, like I said, what you say in the comments does and is gonna impact what happens next season. So get yourselves in the comments section. I look forward to hearing what you've got to say, as always. Come on, Tractor, you can do it. Come on, struggling for power. Lock that door up, don't matter if someone's in there, it's a bit of bad luck they're having. Get this moves as well. And that is definitely going to take a while to melt. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, cover the bike up. That bike's just annoying. Cover the chicken up apparently. Move out of the way. Move out of the way. There we are. I think that will do. That bit there won't take long. Hopefully, and it will melt. But I'm going to await what is said in the comments section down below. We've got $388,000. Let me know. Fields, equipment, or tractors. What do we do? It is the last day of winter now, which is what we're in. The next day is going to be the first day of spring. It's going to be a good one. It's going to get real, real exciting. And I can't wait to see what you say in the comments down below. Till then, hit that like, hit that like button, apparently. Hit that subscribe button, definitely. And until then, I'll see you all real soon here on the Valley of the Old Farm. And this has been a short episode. See you all soon.